Hey guys, um, happy Tuesday. This is another episode of Tasty Tuesdays with Jenny. Um, I do have my dryer going on right now. So if you hear a noise in the background, that's what it is. And then my dog is like clinging to my hip. So um, if there's any distractions, apologize ahead of time. Um, but I'm sure you guys know how it is during the week. Um, you got stuff that needs to be done. Kids need you or dogs need you in my case. Um, so we just got a lot of stuff going on, but that's okay, right? We're getting it done. So today we are going to make cauliflower stuffing. Um, I wanted to post this, um, you know, before Thanksgiving, so that way if you guys wanted to try it for that time, you could. Um, but I was actually making it for the first time at Thanksgiving, and I wanted to make sure, you know, how it was cooking, make sure it wasn't too crazy, um, and to make sure it tasted decent before I let you guys um, send it to you guys for you guys to try so this is the second time I'm making it um, you can also make it during the week um, that's what I'm doing right now I'm using it for my vegetable side so it's really you can do it anytime but it's basically cauliflower um, stuffing is stuffing just without the bread so it's low carb and tons of vegetables that kind of thing so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do the first step is to put um, butter I think it calls for four tablespoons of butter, um, two large carrots, and two celery stalks. So I have my carrots and my celery stalks already chopped up and in a bowl. Um, I didn't have onions in the fridge for this time, but it calls for one whole onion. I'm actually going to use onion powder instead. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is the first step. So you'll see it kind of cut out three times. Um, there is basically a three-step process. It's not a long process. It's just um, I don't think you guys want to watch me cook for like 30 minutes. So um, it'll kind of cut cut off um, between between each session. But so first is I'll do the first step with you guys. So let's turn on my heat. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. It's supposed to be turning cooler later on this week. Some people are talking about snow and I don't know. I don't know what, you never know what it's gonna do. You can never tell, it's North Carolina. It's like beach weather one day and then snow in the next. So put my butter in there. If I can get it off the spoon. And you're basically gonna saute um, the carrots and celery and onion if you have it. Um, I'm gonna saute my celery, um, carrots and onion powder so but that's okay that's what these recipes are for these recipes are um, to, you can substitute anything um, with them and that's one reason why I like them they're simple and easy that's another reason why I like them um, and you can just do it for whenever um, so it's just up to you so I'm gonna work on melting my butter first I just use, uh, I'll, I'll show you my butter, but I just use regular country grog butter. You can, of course, if you want to use a different brand, something healthier, that's fine. Um, this has no artificial flavors. 10% um, daily value of calcium, zero trans fat per serving. So it's really whatever you prefer. That's just what we have at the house. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and dump my veggies in there. I'll mix it up so you guys can see. Oh, there you go, Asher. Asher's loving that. Um, let's see if we can see it. That's just my mixture. And again, you'll probably have onions in yours, but I'm going to use the onion powder. So I'm going to put that in my bowl along with the onion powder and butter. So let me stir this up. Now, like I said, this is just to saute them, getting them soft real quick before we go to the next step of the process. So let me put my onion powder in there well maybe hold on one second let me get my other onion powder and see if that'll work Sorry about that. Here we go. 
There we go. And just stir that around. And you'll um, cook this for about seven or eight minutes. Like I said, just to saute it before we go to the next step. Get um, them all nice and soft with the butter and get the flavors mixed in a little bit. And I'll show you this. So like I said, I'm just going to keep it like this, saute it for about um, seven to eight minutes um, or until everything gets soft and stuff. So, And then we'll come back and do the next step. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's got butter, carrots, celery, and then I have onion powder in mine. You may have real onions in yours. So that's what we got going on. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, welcome back. Um, so I just got done sauteing the first vegetables. The next set of things is cauliflower. So I've already chopped up a head of cauliflower um, and then salt and pepper. So that's the next step. You put that in the pan and then you saute that as well. So you just wait until the cauliflower gets soft before you move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and pour in my cauliflower that I chopped up beforehand. Mix that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add my salt and pepper. And again, I'll post the recipe on comments and stuff so that way you'll know. Here's my pepper. Do some salt. Last time I was, I didn't do enough salt. So I want to make sure. saute until the next step. So I'll let you see what that looks like. Right now. Alright, so I'm going to saute that and then we will get to the last step. Okay guys, this will be the last step. So the last step is to add sage, rosemary, parsley, and then chicken broth or vegetable broth. So I'm gonna, this one hasn't been opened. So this is the sage. And like I said, I'll post the exact measurements on the page. So I'm gonna add my ground sage first. calls for parsley. So I just have that. You can do fresh parsley also if you want to, to do that. It smells good. To me parsley smells like Thanksgiving. Alright and the next step will be rosemary. Oops sorry you opened. for a half a cup of chicken broth or vegetable broth. Very good. And just mix that up. And then what it will do is um, the cauliflower and vegetables soak it up. So um, it, the recipe says to leave it in there for about 15 minutes covered. And then once you get done with that, then you will be all set. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's it. That's all you have to do. My cauliflower stuffing is finished. I just have to um, let it simmer for about 15 minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is after all the ingredients are in. Like I said, the cauliflower and vegetables will soak up. 
um, the broth, so you don't have to worry about that. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys. I, you know, please ask questions if you have any. Um, I love this recipe. Like I said, it's good for any time just to get your vegetables in. And I mean, it kind of tastes like Thanksgiving. So who doesn't like that, right? So if you have any questions, let us know. But that's Tasty Tuesdays with Jenny. Thanks, guys.